Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about an additional card that just got shipped in. It's a 3090 FE from NVIDIA. Just plugged it in recently here, maybe 30 minutes ago. Talking about its performance, comparative to the other cards. Uh, 3080 LR charge on the same rig here. You can see them here. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell. Go to click the LLC. Dot org if you're looking for someone to manage your GPU or ASIC mining farm. And check out our other social media accounts like BitChute, Parlor, Gab, Mines, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Especially the free speech platforms like BitChute, Gab, Parlor, Mines, uh, Getter, and so on. So you can see we're still building it out. You guys watched my previous videos, you would know. Still working on it. <clears throat> Haven't pulled all the conduit yet. But let's go look at the performance here. Alright, so. Here's that rig running, and you can see the 3090s right here. And we're gonna look at that versus a 3080 Ti and a bunch of 3080s. So there's one Ti on there, and the rest of them are 3080s. Now you can see that Ti is actually running pretty slow. Let me see if I can increase the power here. Uh, the rig was just launched 30 minutes ago, so it still needs to stabilize, but I can give you I mean, most of the information on this rig's, you know, speed is pretty uh, up there. Just now increased it to 80. Um, once uh, you can see that GPU one was increased to 80, which is the maximum we get for a TI. So this TI should go up to about 85. Um, you should just give it some time. You can see it's going up. It'll go to about 85. Um, <clears throat> but I what I want to talk about was a 3090. So you can see a 3090 is doing 114.3, uh, and that's typical. Uh, a lot, some, some of the cards we have that are 3090s do like 122, you know, and so on. This one does 114. Uh, it could be just, you know, the type of card, like, it's just like a silicon type thing where you can't really do anything about it. Sometimes you get a really nice fast card, it does 122. Sometimes you get a card like this, it does 114. Um, but who knows, you might, you know, maybe after a restart of the miner or a restart of the computer, it might do, go faster. But that's typical. But you can see that one of the great things about these FE 3090 cards is the actual temperature. Look at that temperature right there, right? You can see the temperature right there and it's at 82. 82 is such a good temperature for VRAM when you're doing 140 mega hashes. So that's very, very, very low temperature for you know such a card like that. You can see the other 3080s here Look at that, it's doing 90, you know, 88, and so on. But you can see they're only at around 73, which is about the average. They'll, they'll average out to about 73. This 3080 is showing 80. It's not going to be 80. It's going to go down to 73. But after they all stabilize, they'll come down and uh, start mining around 73 with a 3090 doing about 100, I don't know, 15, 20. So it's really, really nice compared to the 3080s. Now the TI, like I said, is going to go about to 85. Uh, right now it's still going up So let's give me up. Uh, let's go check out that 3090 Give you guys some more video of it from all sides So by the way, it's a brand new card We're running it on two dedicated powers uh, power VGA cords here one and two so it's getting a plenty of power all that it requires it does about 320 340 watts so giving it some dedicated power is good running it off of our standard 1600 G plus EVGA and then running it off a of riser totally fine um, let's go look Let's go look from this side over here. I can actually show you the risers running on. Here's the other riser. We're just getting it ready for the uh, additional GPU that's going to go right here and two more at the top over there. But this is the riser we're just running these uh, 3090s on, 3080s, all that. It doesn't really matter which riser you get. You know, we get these ones because they were available. And if we can get better ones, we, we do. But like I said, there isn't really much of a difference. I'll show you some of the risers over here on this side. You can see these are like the really blinky ones. 
So those are more expensive, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. So you can see that 3090 running perfectly fine. Blows out the hot air from the back. And it doesn't really blow that much at all. Like I can feel it blowing, but it's, it's not even hot. I mean, this 3090 does such a good job cooling off the VRAMs and such a good job of just having nice airflow that it handles it just fine. We have uh, some 3080 Ti's from NVIDIA FE cards. Again, same as this one, just a 3080 Ti. And those ones are thinner, right? They're thinner and they have way hotter VRAM temperatures, even though that's a slower card. So whatever they did with the Ti wasn't good enough. And then whatever they did with the 3090 was too good, right? It's just really, really, really cool car. Uh, card. <laughs> cool car. Cool card. Nice, huh? Yeah, so um, I think the TI should be this card right here. That one you just saw. It's a gigabyte. I don't know what card it is. Gigabyte something something. Three fan card. TI and you saw the VRAMs are also good on it. Uh, let me show you some other TI cards we have. The FE ones and um, they are not that great. For some reason they uh, have some VRAM problems and uh, we have to take one apart and replace the thermal pads on it. It's one of these guys. I mean, these other ones are okay. They're not overheating or anything but they don't have the really really cool temps that 3090 does. But one of them actually has a problem where I have to take it apart and put on a different VRAM thermal pads. You can see we have a whole bunch of them. That's a bunch of those 3080s and the TI cards. And then here's another 3090 right here. Again, same thing. Runs so cool. Very, very cool. So if you guys are interested in uh, getting some 3090 FE cards from NVIDIA to mine on, um, they are, you know, I'd recommend them. They, they actually run really good, really cool. Nice, really nice VRAM temperatures, like the best, basically. I haven't seen better than a FE card, which is really interesting because uh, I would expect a lot less from NVIDIA. You know, I expect more from their partners, like MSI, ASUS, Gigabyte, Zotac, you know, and so on. I don't expect NVIDIA to actually make a card that good. So, but that's just for the 3090s. The 3080s and 3080Ti's from FE, they're okay. They're not great. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Just going over a 3090, sharing my thoughts on it. If you guys find one, you want to mine on it, get it. It's a really nice card. You know, I'll probably recommend it over any other 3090 card. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.